It has just been announced that the Queen's funeral will take place on Monday the 19th of September. The Met Police have stated whether matches go ahead next weekend is a matter for the football authorities and the Department of Culture, Media and Sport have stated it's ultimately up to the Premier League and EFL to make the decisions whether the games go ahead next weekend. Christian Romero has said, I want to win trophies at Tottenham Hotspur and Eric Dyer has been talking about Richarlison and said he is an impact player and a real threat. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. This is another edition of Tottenham News, where I'll be going through all of the latest Spurs news, rumours and reports. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. Let's start with a report from Football.London. They have just stated that the Metropolitan Police and the Department of Culture, Media and Sport have provided an update ahead of next weekend's scheduled games. All Premier League fixtures were postponed this weekend following the passing of Queen Elizabeth II on Thursday. As a mark of respect, the Premier League took the decision to call off all 10 of their scheduled weekend games. However, with the date of the Queen's funeral now confirmed, Tottenham Hotspur could return to league action next weekend against Leicester City at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Queen Elizabeth II's funeral will take place on Monday the 19th of September, with the day being a bank holiday for those in the UK. With the funeral being held on Monday, there is more chance of next weekend's Premier League fixtures going ahead. There was some speculation that the funeral may have taken place during the weekend. The Metropolitan Police have said in a statement whether matches go ahead is a matter for the football authorities. If fixtures do take place, the Metropolitan Police will work with the relevant partners and ensure that appropriate policing plans are in place. The Department of Culture, Media and Sport have uh, said that their guidance would not change and that the Premier League would decide if fixtures do go ahead. Uh, they said in a short statement, our guidance will stay the same. There's no obligation to cancel as far as the government is concerned, but it's ultimately up to the Premier League and EFL to make those decisions. Tottenham Hotspur defender Christian Romero has been talking about trophies and says he wants to win one as a Spurs player. He said, on a personal level, I would like to add my name to that of the players who have won a trophy here at Tottenham. That would be the greatest achievement. I think it's in our grasp. It's my personal target to achieve it as a team with this manager, Antonio Conte. He then went on to say Antonio Conte's experience is well known and to me it's very important to have him um, as my coach here at Tottenham. I've learned from him over the past few months that we have worked together and there's still plenty more to learn. So I'm eager to learn and listen to what he has to say on a daily basis. We're one of the top teams out there. We just need to push ourselves, continue on this path we're on and meet the expectations that we have. Spurs defender Eric Dyer has been singing the praises of Richarlison, who of course scored his first Tottenham Hotspur goals on Wednesday in the Champions League as we beat Marseille 2-0 at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Dyer said, I'm sure those goals meant a lot to him. He's someone who really plays with his heart on his sleeve every day in training, in matches, and I cannot speak highly enough of him. His character, the way he works every day, and his patience, having not played too much at the beginning of the season. He's come into the side into the last couple of games, and his impact is there for everyone to see. Dyer then went on to say they were great headers as well. He's strong in the air and that's maybe a part of his game that surprised me a little since he arrived. He's such a threat in the air and physically so strong. Now, the last uh, captain to lift Tottenham Hotspur trophy back in 2008, Ledley King, of course, club ambassador. He has been talking about Tottenham Hotspur centre-back Eric Dyer and said, I'm really delighted he's showing his true form and looking like a real top-class centre-half. Tottenham Hotspur are next in action on Tuesday evening back in the Champions League. This time it's an away game um, in Lisbon, Portugal, as we will be playing Sporting. The kickoff time is 5.45pm. 
Um, the other game in Group D in the Champions League group stage, uh, Marseille will take on Frankfurt, 8 p.m. UK time, 9 p.m. local time. Now, the under-19s will also be in action on Tuesday, as our under-19s will be facing Sporting Lisbon under-19s. Um, the kickoff time is 11 a.m. Now, my thoughts very quickly on these uh, stories in this episode. Um, let's start by talking about the Tottenham Hotspur v Leicester game uh, scheduled for Saturday, uh, a week today. Um, I would fully expect that game now to go ahead. But of course, it is um, the decision for uh, the Premier League and the EFL. Um, so I'm sure that we will learn whether we are playing the game or not in the coming days. Um, but I think a lot of us expected the Queen's funeral to actually take place um, during the weekend. But now it is actually scheduled for uh, Monday, the 19th of September, which will turn into a bank holiday um, in the UK. Um, I expect the football to go ahead over the weekend. Um, let's wait and see. Um, wait for official announcements. And I know there's a lot of people threatening at the moment because a lot of people travel from all around the world to watch uh, Premier League matches. And uh, I've had lots of messages myself, um, people asking me whether I know the game is going ahead. Uh, nobody knows um, at the moment. The Premier League will make an announcement um, in the next couple of days. So just look out for it. Um, Christian Romero saying he wants to win trophies at Tottenham Hotspur. Um, you know, when we have real quality players like him in the team, of course, we should be winning trophies. And let's hope, and I talk about trophies on this channel so much, let's hope that, uh, you know, 2023 is Tottenham's year and we can finally put a trophy in the cabinet. Because, of course, uh, the last one we won was 2008, far too long. Um, Eric Dyer talking about Richarlison being a real impact player and a threat. Uh, really pleased for Richarlison getting his first Tottenham Hotspur goals. Um, in a Spurs shirt on Wednesday against Marseille. Uh, it meant the absolute world to him. Tears at the end with his family. Um, wonderful scenes. Um, and Richarlison has been a real impact player. And uh, I think that there are so many exciting times uh, to come for him. And a lot of this Tottenham Hotspur squad. And as I say, um, you know, under Antonio Conte, we should be achieving big things. And let's hope that we do that. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button. If you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and I'll see you on the next one. Come on, you Spurs.